Hey, you doing fam bam? This is Chris Muso here, and I'm gonna show you exactly how you can hook up your Switch Pro controller to your PC. Can you just hook up your controller by USB, or can you hook it up wirelessly through Bluetooth? And I'm gonna show you different type of methods on how you can do that. I'll make this content very simple and very short to the point and very easy to understand. But before you hook up your Switch Pro controller, I must warn you, even the Switch Pro controllers, they do feature a Joy-Con drift. My original one before, it ended up leaning and staying stuck to the right, especially this right joystick here. It's a little bit more flimsy and it would be really a pain and it would be like pretty much like a dead joystick to where you just have to center it manually. I actually had to send back one of my Switch Pro controllers. It's a problem that Nintendo has and hopefully they will fix. Hopefully with this new Nintendo Switch Pro that everyone is talking about, they'll fix that very problem. But usually I wouldn't recommend using a Switch Pro controller in my opinion. If you're thinking about purchasing one, just be just make sure you know that the Switch Pro controllers do have their problems and you can possibly run into Joy-Con drift. But just to forewarn you before you think about even purchasing a Switch Pro controller, I usually suggest getting a DualSense controller or even an Xbox Series X controller for your PC instead of getting a Switch Pro controller. But if you do favor the Nintendo Switch Pro controller, it can be done and I will show you exactly how you can do it. But first, if you find this kind of content very useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you enjoy the big wonderful fan band where we love to talk about PC and tech stuff, make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button for more. But let's dig right into it because I know you just wanna hook up your Switch Pro controller to your PC. If you're thinking about purchasing a Nintendo Switch Pro controller, the good thing about these controllers, they do come with a USB-C, wire and they are rechargeable so you don't have to buy any extra accessories really if you want to hook up the switch pro controller you got to make sure that your pc has bluetooth built in or you can also get a bluetooth dongle if you don't have anything like that i do have a bluetooth dongles down in the description box down below if you're interested in getting one let's get straight to the point and i will show you exactly each method when you do use a switch pro controller to your pc let's get started with the nintendo switch pro controller we're going to attempt to hook it up with usb first so all you have to do is simply Plug in the USB-C side, just as if you were trying to charge the controller. Plug the USB-A side to your open USB port. As soon as you do that, you'll notice that the sound of it finding a new device will play. As soon as it, you have the USB wire hooked up to your Nintendo Switch Pro controller, you can test it out by pressing the home button first. When you press the home button, it should take you into Steam and you could enter big picture mode. So what I would do is go into settings here and then go into your controller settings and make sure you have Switch Pro configuration support checked. And from here, you should be able to play any game on Steam with the Nintendo Switch Pro controller. Now you may question if you can play an outside game if the client is not steam say if it is epic games or if battle.net well let me show you exactly what will happen if you do attempt to play any of these games so first we'll open up shamu 3 and we'll see if it reacts so usually we all know with pc stuff they're usually finicky they usually like their own controllers. So if you have an Xbox controller, it usually works. If you have a DualSense or a DualShock controller, they usually work. But it looks like it works perfectly fine. So far, anyway. As you notice, you got the weird L and K, such as if the controller was not installed. I can move 
I can move Rio around. I can move the camera angles, but I'm unable to run. I'm unable to open up the menus. The buttons do not work to check my notepad. Pressing help doesn't work. We know that the Switch Pro controller doesn't work in those terms, but there is a way for them to work on a non-Steam client. I will explain to you momentarily on how you can do that. But now you know that it works via USB and your PC does recognize the controller. Also, if you are just interested in having it wired to your PC and not interested in Bluetooth, make sure to check down in the description box down below because I have everything timestamped. And you can skip over to see how you can play your games on a non-Steam client. Because in this very next step, I'm going to show you how you can actually play wirelessly with your Nintendo Switch Pro controller. So, in order to do this, let's unplug USB first. Okay, so in order to do this, all you have to do is hold the sync button on top of your controller. Simply just go down to your search bar, type blue, and as you'll just see it come up as best match. You're going to open it up. And then you want to hold down your sync button on your Switch Pro controller, which is up on the top of it. And you'll notice the LEDs on the bottom start blinking. So you're going to click add Bluetooth or other device. Click Bluetooth. Click Pro Controller. And as you can see, your device is ready to go. Seems too easy, right? If it's too good to be true, it usually is. And that is the case with the Nintendo Switch Pro controller. Because just like how DualSense or any other controller that is not a Microsoft Xbox controller, Microsoft Windows doesn't really want to recognize your controller. So in a way we gotta trick the PC into thinking that your Nintendo Switch Pro controller is an Xbox controller. You don't wanna use X360 CE, it's kind of outdated. No games really use that anymore because all games are mostly in different clients, whether it's Steam, whether it is Battle.net, whether if it is Epic Games. Because they are all on different clients, it makes it a little bit more difficult. Of course, the more simple answer is just to get everything on Steam because with Steam, it will just automatically work and you don't have to do all this extra side work. But like most of us, we don't have all of our games in Steam. Sure, some suggestions say you can open up a game in Steam, but we all know how that goes. It doesn't always work in our favor when you do try to open up a game in Steam because all games do not really respond well to Steam's client when you do open it up and the controller still doesn't work. So there is a way to solve that and the best way to do that is download a thing called Better Joy. It works much better than using Xbox 360 CE. I feel Xbox 360 CE is outdated because of other clients, they don't read. And another thing is because it is opening up in a different client, it doesn't really work when you put a direct input DLL into a game. So what you have to do is trick the PC into thinking you have an Xbox 360 controller. To download the file, you simply just go to releases here on the right. As you can see, version 6.4b is the newest update. So you're just gonna click that, and then you're gonna download Better Joy. So make sure you click that. It's gonna be a zip file. So as soon as it downloads, you're gonna open up the file. You're just gonna wanna highlight it all, extract it. We'll put it in the D folder and we'll call this Better Joy. Enter Better Joy. Don't try to open up this execution file just yet. Go under drivers. So you want to click the setup file right here called Vigum bus underscore setup 1.16. So as you can see, I already had this file already installed. So I had this pop up box, but make sure you install this completely before you continue. Otherwise it will not work after you install a Vigum bus. Now, all you have to do is go to Better Joy for CMU, right click it and run as admin. So now, as you can see, it detects the 
Nintendo Switch Pro controller. And now, as you can see, it is green. It is ready to go. So now let's try to open up a game such as Shenmue 3 and see how it reacts. Much better controls. Only thing about having this uh, setup is that you're going to have to use it as Xbox controllers. We all know Switch Pro controllers, they're backwards from Xbox controllers. So A is B, and B is A, and you get the idea. We all know how difficult it is in order to get other controllers to work well or play well with other clients besides Steam. And Better Joy definitely does that. So let's try Call of Duty and see how it works. As you can see, it works well, responsive, just as expected. And guys, if you do hook it up in this way, make sure you have it off of your Steam lay layover because otherwise it will interfere in game. If you find this content very useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you enjoyed the big, wonderful fan band where we love to talk about PC and tech stuff, make sure you get down and hit that subscribe button for more. And also, don't forget to hit the notification bell. And for all the newest updates, make sure you're following my Twitter and my IG handle right here. It's also the same for my TikTok too. And fan band, guys, what are your thoughts about Nintendo Switch Pro Controller? And are you looking forward to this new Nintendo Switch Pro, which is going to be the next gen? Hopefully, uh, I'm looking forward to it myself. And what, what do you hope it features? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.